Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Nick Nickam. In this presentation, we are going to be looking at Logitech brand new Extreme 3D Pro joystick for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I just got this, but before I go any further, I did a lot of research watching practically every video on uh, uh, joystick and here are some of the things that uh, the joystick uh, should be able to perform. Change camera views. We're going to see how we can accomplish that. Also serve the function of a throttle which is equivalent to gas pedal or gas power. Of course brakes. We can program not only parking brakes, we can also program landing brakes also. Then yaw or like the foot pedals, which is basically a steering wheel when the plane is uh, rolling on the runway. Then flaps, flaps are ones which help to land or during turns or takeoff. Then of course the yoke or the stick, which is like a steering wheel. Of course, we should have a button to handle the landing gear for planes like uh, Airbus 320 or seven or Boeing 737 or 747 and, and trim is another important uh, function and all of these uh, functions can be performed by this yoke. If you think about it, Airbus has a yoke very similar to this with less number of buttons on it because they can control all the other things uh, from other uh, from the panel and from the ceiling uh, panel. So let us open the box, test some movements, and in a second video, I'm going to show you how to bring this up in Microsoft Flight Simulator and how to program and fine tune the movements of the yoke. By fine tuning on the software, we can see how we can accomplish that. So let's begin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is the brand new Logitech uh, Extreme 3D Pro for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So let's open this box and see what's inside. third part here and here is the Logitech Pro. Here's the product we I have been looking for. As you can see it's got a beautiful uh, here which is really flat and, and it's fairly firm and heavy. The hand grip is fantastic. It is really good. I can hold it. Uh, let me put this on this box so we can do a little demonstration. Okay, I hope you can see this one and uh, I'm going to walk you through all the different things I talked about, namely the camera, the throttle, brakes, yaw, flaps, steering wheel, landing gear and trim. And most of those functions can be programmed into this one handle. Think about it, Airbus 320 takes off and lands on a, using a joystick like this. But this one has a lot more functions built into this one little body. So let's explore some of these things. First of all, it has the throttle. So I hope I can turn this one. The throttle is in the back and if you can see this one, uh, you move it to the front, that will increase the engine power, engine rotations, RPMs, and bring the engine to the maximum speed before you take off and during landing you gradually decrease the throttle depending upon how much gas you want to provide and then you can bring it all the way down to the bottom just before landing or touching the runway. Okay that's function number one. Now let's look at here on the handle while we are here as we can see we have a nice grip here the handle can bend to the left side. This is the steering wheel while we are flying and this is to the right side. Uh, okay, and this is uh, while taking off to lift the nose up and this is to bring the nose down while we are landing. 
So it covered a lot of functions. So this serves as the function of the steering wheel. Now, the talk about the rudder. Rudder is a vertical panel at the back of the plane, which can turn to left or to the right to help steer the plane. So what we can do is we can do that function using the rotation here. Here's the torque to the left and here's the torque to the left side. You may not be able to appreciate, but what it is, you hold the handle and you turn it to the left and then you turn it to the right and you get the function of the rudder. And so there are already six movements built into this handle as such. In addition to that, there are four, five switches here, I should say. Let me see if I can show this. There are five switches here. These can be programmed to the flaps. You can hear the nice click. These can be programmed to the flaps and this can also be programmed to do some other function. This is the main thing for the camera view control. You can look at the left side, you can look at the right side, you can look at the front, you can look at the back, or you can zoom in or zoom out. So there are a lot of things that can be done. Even this can be programmed. And this is an important one. Let's see if we can hear the click. So this is going to be the brake. The parking brake can be programmed into one of these buttons. There are six buttons. So practically we can have 12 different functions programmed into these buttons. That's uh, as far as the buttons here comes. So this has a lot more stuff than what I just uh, covered on, on the PowerPoint slide, which is basically what you need to get your first flight off the ground make turns, come down and make a smooth landing. Of course, this has a USB 2 connector and this can be connected into your computer. Once this is connected to the computer, the Microsoft Flight Simulator will automatically recognize this software. Then we can go into the control panel and reprogram all these movements. One of the important things I learned by watching several other videos while I was waiting for this to come is that these movements, even though we are making real gentle movements, uh, they are exaggerated or they, are, they look violent. You, you, when you make a left turn, the plane goes like this or the plane goes like this. So there's no way you can really control it. But those movements in the plane in the air can be programmed so that these movements translate into very fine turns so that your plane is not trying to hit the ground every, every, every time you touch the joystick. Similarly, we can program the takeoff and landing uh, motions so that they are much smooth and uh, easy. So there are a lot of things that need to be done as far as program is concerned before we can truly enjoy the flight uh, experience uh, using this joystick. I'm quite excited about this joystick. As I said, I watch a lot of videos and all the yoke and the gear, everything is out of stock. So I got frustrated. I said, okay, let me study this joystick and see what it can do. Now I realize this joystick uh, can perform many, many functions. If you want, you can have a gearbox uh, which costs another $60 from Logitech that can help you to add three or four or maybe six more functions. These two, I think we should be able to experience most of the stuff that we want to in the initial stages. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. Take a break, get a cup of coffee. Let me hook this up to the computer and bring it into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Then we'll continue with programming the joystick. I am Nick Nickam and thank you so much for watching this presentation and please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel.